Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. Uh, peace be upon you all. In today's video, I, I will show you guys how to crochet this uh, coat holder or uh, uh, hands free organizer or whatever you can call it. I have this problem that whenever I put my hands free in my bag or in my purse, they just get tangled up and sometimes it's it's a little bit frustrating so that's why i thought maybe this will be a good idea to share with you guys that how to crochet this uh, tiny uh, what you call it um, code holder and uh, you are going to need some yarn any yarn and uh, and i attached a button as well and it's very easy to open and uh, use it it's in a kind of rectangle shape i don't know what shape is this uh, there is a special word for it but I'm forgetting right now but I will call it rectangle for now <laughs> so let's get started the yarn I'm going to use for this uh, organizer is this one you can use any yarn it's better that you use cotton yarn but uh, I'm going to use this acrylic yarn it's uh, Dora yarn by ice yarn and uh, into the 100 gram of the yarn there is 250 meters of the yarn so let's get started what we are going to do is you will make first of all we are going to make a slip knot like that and then i will make chain two one and two and then we will make we will make three single crochets into the first chain one two and three then we will make chain one turn around and we will make one single crochet into each and every single crochet one and three chain one turn around and make two single crochets into first single crochet one and two and then one single crochet into next single crochet and two single crochets into next in total we have five single crochets at the end of this round i will make chain one turn around and i will place one single crochet in each and every single crochet two three four and five chain one turn around make two single crochet in first single crochet one and two one single crochet in next three single crochets one two and three and then two single crochets into last single crochet one and two so at the end of this round you should end up with seven single crochets i will make chain one turn around make one single crochet in each and every single crochet one two three four five six and seven like that chain one turn around make two single crochets into first single crochet one and two and then make one single crochet into next one two three four five single crochets one two three four and five 
and then place two single crochet into last single crochet one and two so at the end of this round you should end up with nine single crochet I'm going to make chain one turn around and make one single crochet into each and every single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine chain one turn around make two single crochet in first single crochet and one single crochet in next one two three four five six seven single crochet one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then make two single crochets into last one. At the end of this round, you should end up with eleven single crochets. Chain one, make one single crochet in each and every single crochet. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Chain one, turn around, make two single crochet in first single crochet. And then make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make one single crochet into next nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now make two single crochet into last single crochet like that chain one at the end of this round you should end up with 13 single crochet make one single crochet in each and every single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen chain one and now i will repeat last round two more times i will make one single crochet in each and every single crochet two three four five seven eight nine eleven twelve and thirteen chain one turn around <coughs> and simply make one single crochet in each and every single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen chain one and now we are going to start our decreasing part so i will skip this first double uh, single crochet and i will go direct into next single crochet and make a single crochet and then I will make single crochet next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have two more single crochets what we are going to do is we are going to make a decrease we are going to insert 
uh, crochet hook into next single crochet and pull up a loop and then uh, we will do the same into next single crochet you have three loops on your hook pull through all of them chain one and then we will make one single crochet in each and every single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven you should end up with eleven single crochets because we made two decreases in last round chain one you are going this is also going to be a decrease round so i'm going to skip this double uh, single crochet and i'm going to make one single crochet into next two three four five six seven eight and then i will make a decrease uh, single crochet decrease on next two single crochets like that pull through all of them chain one and make one single crochet in each and every single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine chain one uh, turn around skip this first single crochet and work a single crochet into next single crochet make one single crochet next one two three four and five and we are going to make a single crochet decrease on these two on to last two single crochets like that chain one turn around and make one single crochet into one two three four five six and seven we will make chain one turn around skip this single crochet and one single crochet into next one two three and four single crochets and then we will make a decrease single crochet decrease onto next onto last two single crochets like that chain one turn around and make one single crochet into one two three four and five chain one turn around and now make one single crochet we are going to work on our button hole now so what we will do is that we will chain two one and two and skip these three double uh, single crochets and we will make a single crochet into the last single crochet chain one and now make one single crochet here two single crochets into this hole into this chain one and two and then one single crochet into the last single crochet chain one and now we will do the uh, decrease on next how can I explain next three single crochets we, there are four single crochets we have already skipped this stuff a single crochet we did not made a make a single crochet into that and we are we are going to convert these three single crochet also into one like that you have four loops on your crochet hook 
pull through all of them and then cut your yarn secure the end and now I will join pink yarn you can join it anywhere on the any side I'll join here like that chain one and make one single crochet into this same space where we joined our yarn one single crochet into that and the next single crochet is this one this tiny loop we are going we are going to make reverse single crochet so instead of working clockwise we are going to work anti-clockwise so we will make this is the next single crochet this one i'm going to place a single crochet into that and then this is the one after that this single crochet i'm going to place a reverse single crochet into that the next row of the single crochet is this one make one single crochet into that this is the pattern i'm going to repeat i'm i will be placing a, a reverse single crochet into all of these rounds and uh, i will place one single crochet here and then i will continue working here i will place one single crochet here this is our starting chain where we made uh, three single crochets at the start and all the way here and then i will resume my video again i'm at the end of this round so what i will do that i will slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet that we made like that and then i will cut the yarn weave in the end And now we will join or we will attach our button if I can find them. Yes. <coughs> so now I will estimate that where I need to attach my button. For that I am going to place the hands free into this and then fold it and I think I will attach my button here. So I will sew the button to that. One thing I hate about crocheting is, or there are two things that I hate about crocheting is, or knitting. First thing is weaving in the ends. And the second thing I hate about crocheting or knitting is attaching the button I hate that <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or there is anybody else who hates it but I do I hate um, anything which I have to do with the needle so but sometimes you have to just do it so I'm just doing it I wish there was a there was a magic wand so that all of your ends were gone all of yarn tails were gone and your buttons were already automatically attached to your uh, projects but it doesn't work like that <laughs> in real life it does not work like that wish it was uh, this is how it is and now i will place my hands free into that and then i will close it and this is how it looks right now I made two of them just to show you guys and uh, if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger all you have to do is that just um, 
add increasing rounds as many times as you want to just remember that every second round has to be increasing round and every second round after you start decreasing every second round has to be decreasing round this is it this is very simple and easy to make hopefully it was easy to follow the pattern or follow the video please uh, let me know if there is something that i need to improve uh, improve about my video um thank you so much for watching peace be upon him and happy crocheting